In this video, we will discuss the problem party in town. The problem says that Geek Town has n houses which are numbered from 1 to n and they are connected with each other via n minus 1 bi directional roads. So, let's suppose that if n value was given to me as 3, so let's say there are 3 houses, right? So, they will be connected by how many number of uh, nodes? They will be connected by n minus 1 roads, right? So, this road, let's say this road, right? Or you can say that if these 3 houses were there, so they could also be connected like this, like this. Of this and you can see that from from this house there is a path to the uh, this house right so basically this means that uh, you can observe that from any house there is a path to every other house that is there lying in the geek city right and this is nothing but the representation of tree when you have n uh, n nodes and n minus one edges connecting them so this indicates nothing but the concept of trees right so you can reach every house the problem says that what you have to do is you have to find the minimum distance such that the party can be done. Now, what is this minimum distance? The problem says that you have to find the house from which the distance to the farthest house is minimum possible, right? So you have to iterate from every house and you have to check that what is the maximum distance. And for every house, you have to do the same thing and you have to minimize this particular distance. What is the What does this mean? So let's say this house is there, this house and this house, right? So let's say these houses are connected like this, right? If these houses are connected like this, so you will start from this house, right? And you will say that, okay, what is the maximum distance? So for this house, the distance will be 1 and for this house, uh, the distance will be 2, right? From the starting house, this, this house is at a distance of 2. So you'll say that the farthest house at a distance is at a distance of 2 from the from this leftmost house, right? Or let's say if I start from this house, right? So if the party is in this house, so what will happen? Uh, what will the maximum distance? So this house at a, is at a distance of 1, this house is also at a distance of 1. So the maximum distance will be 1, right? And now let's say that if we keep the party in the rightmost house, right? In this particular house. So in that case, you will say that, okay, this house is at a distance of 1 and this house it's as a distance of 2 right so you can see that uh, out of these distances that is 2 1 and 2 the minimum distance out of these maximum distances for every node uh, for every node or for every house you try to find the min uh, maximum distance right maximum house which is at the maximum distance right house which is at the maximum distance you try to find so uh, for the leftmost uh, the maximum house distance was 2 for uh, for middle uh, middle house the ma maximum distance seemed to be 1 for the right house the maximum distance seemed to be 2 and you have to print the minimum you have to return the minimum out of these distances the minimum distance is nothing but one right so how will you do this so basically what you can do is you can uh, as you can see that we were applying just nothing but a depth first search right you just need to apply a dfs traversal you need to apply a dfs traversal for all the end nodes right for all the end nodes that are lying in the tree for all the end nodes for for the ith node let's say i starts from one i is less or equal to n so for the for all the end nodes you need to apply this dfs traversal and you need to check what is the maximum distances and you will always keep on uh, keep on updating the minimum every time after the dfs call so that uh, you can get the minimum uh, distance out of all, all the maximum farthest distances for all the nodes right so let's try and uh, write the code so what i'll have is I'll have int answer is equal to nothing but int maximum, right? I'll initialize my answer as int maximum. And what I'll say is for int i starts from 1 and i is less or equal to n. And what I'll do is I'll do i plus plus. And then uh, like for I'll be running for all the nodes, right? Starting from the node number 1 till the last node. And what I'll say is that vector or vector int, right? I'll say the visited of now what n plus 1. That uh, because uh, I'll have a visited array. I'll have it as n plus 1 because the nodes are starting from 1. I'll initialize all the nodes as 0. And then what I'll say is, I'll say that maximum distance is equal to 0, right? So I'll say that for this particular node, the maximum distance will be 0. And since I'll be finding the maximum distance for every node, so I'll always say that the maximum distance, uh, I'll declare it as global, right? Because I'll be finding the maximum distance uh, from uh, the uh, ith node uh, till for every node, right? For every ith node, I'll be finding it, right? So that's why I'll have it. And then I'll run a DFS for i, right? For I'll pass the node i, I'll pass the adjacency list i'll pass the visited array and i'll pass the node number zero right and then what i'll say is that after it's calculated in my answer so i'll say that answer is equal to nothing but minimum of answer comma what answer is equal to nothing but minimum of answer comma maximum distance right and uh, like after i'm getting right max d is giving me what max distance is not is storing but nothing but it is storing the distance of the farthest node distance of the farthest node from the ith node right from the ith node right so this that is what it is showing so every time i'll uh, i'll run a dfs and maximum distance will get updated right uh, for the ith node and i'll keep on updating that okay what uh, whatever maximum distance uh, i am getting what is the minimum out of them right and i can say that i'll return the answer as well 
right after this part is done so i definitely need to do one more thing i need to have a maximum dist uh, like i need to have a uh, dfs function right that will help me to traverse through the uh, complete tree uh, starting from the ith node so i'll have what i'll have let's say into vertex the current vertex let's say is v and i'll also have the vector of vector int ampersand adjacency right i'll have the adjacency, adjacency list apart from the adjacency list i'll also have the visited array right vector of int ampersand visited array apart from this i'll also have the current distance right so maybe what i can do is i can mark current uh, int current that means the current distance right right so what i'll be doing is i'll say that okay i'll uh, mark the ith node or the current node as one like marking it as visited and i'll update my maximum distance so maximum distance is equal to nothing but maximum of uh, the maximum distance comma uh, the current distance right so that is what i'll be doing and after this i'll iterate through the adjacency list of the of the node right of the vertex v i'll iterate through its adjacency list so i'll say that int i is to like i will help me to iterate through all the nodes so what i'll say is that i'll iterate through all the nodes in present in the adjacency list and i will say that if visited if the visited of uh, i is equal equal to zero if the ith node is not visited uh, in the adjacency, adjacency list of the current vertex right so in that case i'll have to run a dfs call right so i'll say that i'll pass i comma the adjacency list i'll pass comma the visited array i'll be passing and i'll pass nothing but the current plus one right because the distance will increase by one so that is how the dfs call will be done right and let's try and compile this and see if it works on the samples or we have any compilation issues seems to work on the samples let's quickly submit it and see if it gets accepted or not so you can see that it was able to pass all the 12 test cases right now talking about the time complexity of this particular approach as well as the space complexity so what you can understand is that the time complexity of this particular approach if from one node if from one node i'm visiting all the other nodes through the help of dfs right my dfs function for one time it takes order of n time right for one traversal of dfs it takes order of n time because it is traversing through all the nodes right so for one node it uh, for one of the nodes it takes order of n time so for all the n nodes it will take n into n time right so that's nothing but order of n square kind of an approach right apart from this talking about the space complexity so since we are not using any extra data structure so that's why that space complexity complexity will be uh, one assuming that you are not uh, considering the stack space right thanks a lot for watching this video if you understood the explanation completely make sure to hit the like button thank you